In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your 360 footage and reframe it in the free version of DaVinci Resolve so that you can use it for creative shots or the tiny planet effect. So let's get started. The first thing we need is the Carta VR Reframe plugin from Reactor. So go and download Reactor. It's completely free. Drop the Lua file into Fusion, then type in Reframe in the search bar and check the Carta VR Reframe. Then restart DaVinci Resolve and you're basically ready to roll. Then create a new timeline in the format that you want to export it in, so vertically or horizontally, and drop in your stitched footage. So if your footage looks something like this, Go into the software of your camera manufacturer and stitch that thing together and also take the time to stabilize it. Then drop in your footage and notice the big black bars underneath and on top of your videos. We want to get rid of it because for the Carta reframe you need to fill out the whole frame. So just uncheck the zoom link and stretch the Y to cover the full frame. Don't worry if your footage looks wonky, it's gonna be fixed in a second. Now under the effects look for reframe and find the Carta reframe plugin and drag and drop it onto your clip. It should immediately jump into the view of the 360 camera. And if you click on the clip and go into the inspector under effects, you should see the Carta VR plugin where you can choose the angle of viewing by dialing in the pitch, yaw and roll axis. You can keyframe all of the parameters that you have in this plugin and if you want to get them moving smoothly, then you can just go into Fusion by clicking on the Fusion icon in the top right and then go into your splines, mark all keyframes and then just press Shift S and smooth out all the keyframes at once. If you notice that you have black holes in the top and the bottom, then it might be a sign that you didn't completely fill the frame. So adjust your zooming again. If you have some bent lines in your video, you can just crank up the rect linear projection to get rid of that. And if you want to get the tiny planet effect, crank up the tiny planet projection and lower your field of view. That's all. Then you can just go to the deliver page and deliver your video how you would normally do it. But if you want to use DaVinci Resolve to deliver a 360 video, you should watch this video right here, which goes through all the process. Have fun creating 360 videos. Bye.